Hello, this is Fekhar from Business Chat and I'm gonna show you how to build your own e-commerce chatbot right from our platform. E-commerce chatbot on WhatsApp allows you to offer a self-service experience exactly like your e-commerce website, but in a conversational way. With the buttons and multi-choice options, you'll offer a mobile app-like experience on the customer's preferred channel, WhatsApp. Generally, e-commerce chatbot can handle three main capabilities. Catalog to display your entire e-commerce portfolio on WhatsApp or specific categories of your products. When your customer sends you their shopping cart, you can choose to redirect them to an agent to help them with checkout or directly share the selected products links. From the chatbot's menu, your customers can get answers for questions about working hours, shop locations, return policy, or delivery status. And redirecting the conversation to a live agent. Now, let me show you how to build one. Go to the chatbot builder page and click get started. First, we have the chatbot menu. It's the first message your customers will see after the welcome message. You can add the text here and use custom fields to make it friendlier. And you can see a live preview of your chatbot as you're editing. It's very important that you add the menu message in the added languages. Next, we have the chatbot flow. You can add up to 10 menu options to control your customer's flow. The share product response type allows you to share your Facebook catalog with your clients. Just give it a title, choose a single or multi product, add a message, and select the team they will be assigned to when the user replies. You also have the option to share your pre existing collections. Click the video in the description below to find out more about the collections feature. All you gotta do is select the collection you wanna send and choose what happens when the user sends their cart. You can redirect them to an agent or share with them the product's links from your e-commerce platform so they can proceed with placing their order. Add your message and choose whether to give them the option to talk to a team. The send message response type allows you to add a text that automatically gets sent when the user clicks on that button. Just add a name and type in your message. You can add a maximum of three actions under the send message flow to help your customers easily navigate back and forth. The action can be redirecting them to an agent, sending them back to the main menu, helping them jump to another menu option or close the conversation. You can even send your location with the send message option to let your customers know where your physical store is at. This response type can also be assigned an image, a video or a document. Now that you have multiple menu options, you can assign the other menu buttons under your messages and even rearrange them as well as the menu buttons using the drag and drop indicators. And don't forget to translate all the edits in the added languages. Now that we're done, let's test our chatbot. Enter your phone number, then click generate a test link. Choose between starting the test through the link or scanning the QR code with your phone. When your test starts, you'll see the conversation happening in real time over here. Once you're done, click skip test. 
Review the changes you made to your chatbot in the added languages and then launch. On the chatbot page, you'll be able to see when your bot was last updated, by who, and a preview of the latest version.